Hey guys, it is me again. Um, today is Saturday, December the 15th. That makes it day 350. Talk about about what? 16 more days left in this year, guys, on our Daily Bread Project 2012. Guys, I got to make this quick. Uh, I've not got my sermon finished yet. Uh, I went in and took a shower and shaved and everything tonight. Normally, I'd usually wait till Sunday morning to do that. But uh, I did that tonight to kind of gain me some more time in the morning, but it's kind of got me behind tonight. So, uh, anyway, guys, I appreciate you being here. I'm sorry for not being here the last couple nights. Uh, Thursday night, guys, I had to uh, weld a wheel up. Um, just had some people brought a wheel into the garage that, they had bought like, I think used tires, but they had bought like three or four different used tires and put on this thing and kept thinking it was a tire leak and it ended up the wheel had a crack in it and it was leaking through the wheel. So they, they had it to two or three different places and they never could find it and we finally found it. Um, so I had to I had to weld that wheel and it was one of those deals. Nobody thought it was that big a deal and when I got into it, it looked like it was cracked about that far. And a lot of times I've seen the aluminum do this before. And when you get in there and actually start looking at it, you get everything clean. The crack went from being about that long, which that's all it was all the way through. But it was cracked on like the top half. It just didn't go all the way through about that long. So by the time I had to grind all that and drill holes, you know, to stop the cracking and relieve everything and clean everything, I had to be blasted. I had to clean it in acetone while I brush it. Aluminum's got to be clean enough to eat off of the weld. So I was out there all night, guys, doing that. I mean, it really was. By the time I got out here in the uh, or got back from the garage back into here, uh, it just you know I just didn't have time. So and last night, guys, I still I want to ask the prayer, guys. I don't know if I'm getting sick or not. Uh, everybody around here is sick right now. And like yesterday evening, last night, I, just, I got feeling so bad, I didn't think I was going to make it. I mean, I just felt horrible, I had to lay down, didn't do anything really. So, I just felt so bad, guys, I couldn't make it back up to the computer to do it. So, uh, today I feel better. You know, I'm hoping maybe it's just one of those 24-hour things. or Maybe my body was just run down, maybe I wasn't getting sick. I hope that's what it was. So, anyway, guys, pray for me. And uh, I'm going to have to start, I'm going to have to hurry up here, because like I said, I've got a lot still yet to do. And, I need to be in the bed, to be honest about it, in about 30 minutes or less. So, Anyway, guys, 1 Peter chapter 4, starting in verse 17. Here we go. For it is time for judgment to begin at the household of God. And if it begins with us, what will be the outcome for those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if the righteous is scarcely saved, what will become of the ungodly and the sinner? Therefore, let those who suffer according to God's will, and trust their souls to a faithful creator while doing good. So I exhort the elders among you as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, this is going, in, going in verse, or excuse me, chapter 5, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed, shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you. Casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Or all your. Could also be translated cast all your uh, worries on him because he cares for you. Anyway, guys, that looks about like 10 verses. I think it's where we're going to stop tonight. Guys, I hate cutting this too short, but like I said, I just, I've got so much to do. Cutting it short will let me get it uploaded in time. So, anyway, guys, I love you all. Thanks for being here. Just, just as always, keep praying for us. Um, uh, I guess that's about it, guys. I'll, I'll maybe jibber jabber a little more tomorrow night. So, till I see you guys again, good night. Oh, never mind. Good Lord willing, guys. 
I'll see you tomorrow night. Until I do see you again. Good night. And God bless.